Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we've got an issue to discuss with you.、Uh, we're talking about Naomi Osaka. Naomi. Naomi. Okay,、uh, I was reading it in how you'd pronounce it in Japanese.、Uh. At least in the hiragana, it's Naomi Osaka. Osaka Naomi. Technically, that's how you'd say it in Japanese. But okay, we'll go with Naomi. Is she And, American or Japanese? Japanese well,、American? actually, yeah, it's hard to say because she was born in Japan. Her father's from Haiti, and her mother's from Japan. And I believe she moved to the U.S. when she was three years old.、Mm. So she's kind of multinational there. Yeah. But in any case,、uh, recently she has made the news because she kind of backed out of the French Open there because of、uh, pressure and things like that. And so we're going to be talking about the issues that have come up as a result of that, and also a similar. Incident happened in the Olympics over the summer with the、uh, that gymnast、uh, Biles. What's her, what's her full Biles. name? Simone Biles. Yeah, she was the the greatest of all time. Actually, it's the third greatest of all time. Okay, definitely the best that America's ever produced. And she did one vault competition and then withdrew. People thought she'd. Been injured, and later on, it turned out she was suffering from mental stress. So it's kind of a similar story as、uh, as Naomi Osaka's story goes. So let's take a look at that. We're going to spend two days on it, but day one, as we always do, guys, we're going to read through this lesson and then come back. At the beginning of June. Tennis superstar Naomi Osaka decided to drop out of the French Open, one of the best-known competitions in the sport. Though she had made a strong start against her first opponent, Osaka's declining to participate in press conferences drew significant attention. The tournament's organizers imposed a 15,000 U.S. dollar fine on the 23-year-old athlete, which she accepted as a consequence of her choice. However, the media buzz generated by the situation led Osaka to announce her withdrawal in order to allow the sportsmanship of her fellow athletes to take center stage again. At the heart of Osaka's announcements were two key concerns. She wrote that she had intended to highlight the ways that rules about press conferences are outdated. More importantly, she wanted to reduce the huge waves of anxiety she gets. Before speaking to international press, protecting her own mental health was her goal in initially refusing her media obligations. When media attention only escalated during the tournament, Osaka made the choice to withdraw, demonstrating consistent adherence to her principles. Tennis officials and some players didn't see it the same way. In addition to the fine for Osaka's defiance of her press conference duties. The French Tennis Federation threatened to expel her from the French Open. Some think they feared other famous players following her lead in refusing to participate in press conferences. A few professional players have also cast doubt on Osaka's ability to maintain her high-level position, claiming that press conferences are just part of the package when it comes to being an elite athlete. Indeed. Post-match interviews can provide fans with insights into their favorite stars' strategies and thoughts about their performance. They also give athletes a chance to express themselves. Let's take a look at the title first, guys. Naomi Osaka takes a stand for athletes' mental health. So, when you take a stand, you stand up for something that you really support and believe in. Maybe people are criticizing you for something, and you decide that you want to be very vocal about something. You take a stand, and you don't let people push you around. You show people that you really believe in something strongly. Strongly, if you take a stand,、uh, some people have taken a stand against child abuse. That's a, an example for you, or animal abuse. You take a stand, and you say it's wrong. People shouldn't be doing it. Now, if you're an athlete, you are blessed with a really、um, strong body that is able to be、um, th- that you can use in sports. Usually, you have good eye-to-hand coordination.、Um, I'm not. 
I'm not really an athlete. I play tennis okay, but I never considered myself to be an athlete. So I never participated in school on、uh, a basketball team or a baseball team or softball team, something like that. But we're talking about people here who. Are really great athletes who actually use their athleticism. That's the ability to use their body athletically for their living. They actually get to make money playing their sport that they love. You betcha! And of course, if you're a professional tennis player, you could become really, really rich by winning some major tournaments. So let's、uh, turn back the clock to the month of June. During last summer, and at the beginning of June, tennis superstar Naomi Osaka decided to drop out of the French Open, one of the best-known competitions in the sport. So, yes, this happened back in June, and Naomi Osaka is a tennis superstar.、Uh, she is famous now. She's won some major tournaments, so everybody knows about her now. But、uh, she actually dropped out of the French Open. There are various major Major Grand Slam tournaments that、uh, take place all year long. Let me see if I can name them: the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and then there's the U.S. Open. Is that there? Just four of them? I think so. Maybe we have some tennis experts out there who、uh, know that there might be more. Let us know. But、uh, the only one I've seen personally is、um, the U.S. Open. And it's a very hot time of the year to go see the U.S. Open in New York City because it's in August and it's hot.、Uh, but it's worthwhile. It's fun to see really great athletes on the court like this. So Naomi is very, very talented.、Um, she's best known. She's one of the best known、um, out there in women's tennis.、Uh, so we're going to talk about what she's taking a stand about. This is mental health, a, an issue that's pretty important these days. So it says here, though she made a strong start against her first opponent, Osaka's declining to participate in press conferences drew significant attention. So she started, you know, in the French Open, was doing okay, had a strong start, meaning she made some good points at the beginning of the match. Remember, if you're playing tennis, guys, you're not playing a game; you're playing a tennis match, and she was doing well. And then she decided to not participate or refuse to participate in press conferences. A press conference is when a lot of journalists or people who are writing、uh, for the newspaper, magazines, maybe they're even there with a TV camera for TV news.、Uh, they're there to ask questions after a particular match. If they're if they're watching a tennis match. Or if it's after a baseball game, there would be a group of reporters afterwards who would be,、uh, you know, huddled around that athlete, asking him or her questions. So in this particular case, again, she declined, or she just、uh, decided not to participate in the press conferences, and that drew significant attention. People noticed that and they thought, "Hmm, why is she doing that? That's、uh, rather significant." Tennis players are not supposed to decline to go to those press conferences. Conferences. I think a lot of people felt that hey, if you want to、uh, play in the French Open, you've got to agree to go to the press conference. That's just the way it's done. Yeah, the people who are in charge of the French Open want as much publicity as they can get.、Um, actually, they got a lot of publicity out of her declining to participate. If you think about it,、mm. now you can use conference in another way. It might be a business conference where a lot of business people get together and listen to presentations or speeches. And sometimes those conferences last a day or two.、Uh, they can be fun to go to sometimes, especially if you get to travel abroad. So we're going to be moving on to the next sentence here. It says the tournament's organizers. Those are the people that are in charge of the French Open. They imposed a fifteen thousand U.S. dollar fine. She had to pay money. She had to pay a fine for declining to participate. So, if you impose something, it usually means you have some sort of authority or power. And so, if you impose, you're forcing something to be accepted or done、uh, based on some sort of rule. Or law, even that you might have, they imposed a fine on her, so she had to pay, and she realized that. But she really didn't want to participate in the press conference. We're going to 
find out why in a minute.、Uh, but she accepted the fine as a consequence of her choice. When you make choices, there are always consequences. Could be a good thing that happens to you or a bad thing, but you have to accept the consequences of your decisions or choices. We're going to talk more about this, Tom.、Uh, but we're going to take a quick break right now. And listen to her Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to talk more about Naomi Osaka. Hello, everyone. 大家好，我是派老师。今天讲解的是十月份 Unit Ten. Naomi Osaka takes a stand for athletes' mental health. 第一天的课程，这个单元要介绍一位老师个人非常欣赏的网球女将 Naomi Osaka， 大阪直美。这位球员非常的特别。年纪轻轻已经创下许多不凡的记录。首先，他虽然在美国长大，在美国网球公开赛大放光彩，不过他今年哦，代表的是日本在奥运初赛为日本争光，而且他也曾经勇夺大满贯。不过，老师欣赏他的原因不是只是因为他的球技，更重要的是他非常率真。接下来。课文呢，就会让大家知道他非常的率真，率真的点到底在哪里。好，我们接下来一起复习学习重点吧。首先，老师请大家看一下第一段第一句。At the beginning of June, tennis superstar Naomi Osaka decided to drop out of the French Open, one of the best known competitions in the sport. 请同学把 drop out of 画起来。Drop out of 就是退出什么。那这里呢 ，drop out of the French Open 就是从法网当中退赛，意思呢也等于 withdraw from the tournament. Withdraw, w i t h d r a w, withdraw from the tournament. 好，另外哦 ，drop out of 也可以用在表示辍学，比方说 Steve Jobs dropped out of college after one semester, but continued to attend classes that interested him. 大家都知道贾伯斯 ，He dropped out of college. 他念了一个学期，就不念了。大学念了一个学期就不念了。不过呢，他并不是整日游手好闲哦，他还是会去大学选一些他感兴趣的课。再来，请同学看第二句 ，Though she had made a strong start， 这个句子，请同学先把 declining to 画起来。Decline to 后面加不定词，表示婉拒。这句话是说大阪婉拒参加记者会。再来，请看第三句 ：The tournament's organizers imposed a fifteen thousand U.S. dollars fine on the twenty-three-year-old athlete. 请同学把 impose a fine 的用法画起来，对谁处以罚款 ？OK， 动词我们用 impose。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue talking about our article for today. We're talking about Naomi Osaka, and she is taking a stand for athletes. Mental health. Okay, so this was、uh, something that、uh, I don't remember having happened before in recent memory.、Uh, back in June, of course, she decided to drop out of the French Open. She withdrew from the French Open, and it all started when she declined to participate in press conferences, and that, of course, drew significant attention. And she was fined for that. The organizers imposed a fifteen thousand U.S. dollar fine. On her, but she accepted that. She said, "Yeah, that's what's going to happen if you refuse to go to a press conference. They are going to fine you." So she did accept that. However, the media buzz generated by the situation led Osaka to announce her withdrawal in order to allow the sportsmanship of her fellow athletes to take center stage again. So I guess at the beginning here, she decided to withdraw from the press conference because. Well, I guess、uh, she just didn't want to. She was under mental、uh, pressure for that or something. But she had not dropped out of the actual tournament yet. But her、uh, dropping out of the press conferences. 
drew some media buzz, or this this media buzz was generated by the situation. So buzz just refers to a lot of noise, a lot of、uh, attention, a lot of excitement,、uh, and in this particular case, there were just lots of、uh, reporters and、uh, news stories going on. And、uh, talking about this situation, so yes, everybody was hearing about this. It made the news, and so that gave her more pressure. So again, she, as a result, decided to withdraw from the tournament. Withdrawal, of course, is the noun form. Right.、Um, media buzz. Yeah, a lot of people were focused more on Osaka because she refused to participate in a press conference than the other players who were participating in the French Open. So Osaka decided that it, that wasn't fair to her fellow players, and she decided to allow the sportsmanship of her fellow athletes to take center stage again. What this means is she thought, "Wow." Everyone's paying attention to me for something negative. Meanwhile, my fellow athletes are playing great games, and they should be getting a lot of the media's attention. And they weren't. Sportsmanship refers to when people are playing a game, a, com- a competitive game, and they obey the rules. They don't try to cheat. It doesn't matter if you're professional or amateur. If you're a good sportsman. Uh, and you have good sportsmanship. It means you treat the other team well, and you don't try to take advantage of their mistakes.、Um, I think this is an important part of being a, a good athlete: is is being a good, is having good sportsmanship,、um, and to treat your fellow players well.、Um, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> We've seen some athletes lose their tempers on court. And you know, throw things like throw their tennis racket and things like that. That's poor sportsmanship or bad sportsmanship. And they're typically criticized when they act like children while they're playing a game. I think you're talking about John McEnroe there. Just、uh, one of many, yeah. And、uh, yeah, other ones too, of course. But he was kind of the king of tantrums <laughs> on the tennis court, and of course, he was fined a lot for. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. Okay. So indeed,、uh, that was very noble of Naomi here. She decided to withdraw from the tournament so that、uh, the attention could focus on her fellow athletes and not on her so much. And at the heart of Osaka's announcement were two key concerns. Okay. There were two issues involving her announcement. She wrote that she had intended to highlight the ways that rules about press conferences are outdated. So she wanted to mention that. She wanted people to know that she thought that this idea of attending press conferences is kind of outdated. It's an idea that was formed many, many years ago, and in her opinion, she thinks that press conferences are no longer necessary. Well, think about it. Back in the old times, the old days, guys, all they had、um, were those journalists who were seeing the game live. Now we see the game on TV. We can.、Uh, Watch、uh, what's going on there. We can listen to the radio. We can get online. People post about what they're seeing online on social media. But if you think back, even to like the 1950s, if you didn't have、uh, a newspaper and these press conferences, you never really got to know much about the match. So.、Um, Notice here, guys. She actually wrote her announcement. She didn't make the announcement with her voice. She just wrote down、um, her two key concerns. What were important to her,、uh, besides the the press conference being outdated, she felt like she wanted to reduce the huge waves of anxiety. Notice there are quotes around there. Those are her exact words. The huge waves of anxiety. She got very nervous、um, when she had to speak to the press. Most people do, but、um, some people really get nervous. So protecting her own mental health was her goal、uh, when she initially or at first refused to participate in the press conference. And it says here she had media obligations. Your obligations are duties that you are. Um, supposed to fulfill. People expect you to do these things. It's your duty. It's your obligation. And many people in professional sports just feel like speaking to the press is part of the job. It's part of your obligation. Something that you should definitely do. That you're required to do.
Yep, life life is full of obligations, things that you have to do. You can't get out of these things; they are necessary. You have to find a job. You have to take care of yourself. You have to pay taxes. Those are obligations in life here. And yes, indeed, she initially refused her media obligations. She just thought there was too much pressure. What does this have to do with me playing tennis? Why do I have to feel nervous in front of all these reporters when they ask me rude questions? It really doesn't have anything to do with the game. I'm guessing that's how she felt here. So again,、uh, she was initially refusing her media obligations. And when media attention only escalated during the tournament, Osaka made the choice to withdraw, demonstrating consistent ad- adherence to her principles. So the media attention. Escalated. It got more severe. It got more serious. To escalate、uh, generally means a situation gets worse. Like、uh, a war could escalate. Maybe there's you know something going on、uh, between countries. Maybe the, a few shots are fired over the border, but then they start shooting more and more, and more people get killed. And pretty soon it gets escalated and becomes an all-out war. Right. So moving on here, it says tennis officials and some players didn't see it that way. In addition to the fine of fifteen thousand U.S. dollars for Osaka's defiance against her press conference duties,、uh, the French Tennis Federation that organizes the French Open threatened to kick her out or expel her from the French Open. Now, defiance is a word just that means a rebellion. Defiance here is a noun. Uh, the verb is to defy, D E F Y, and if you're using it as an adjective, it's defiant. Oh, he's very defiant. A lot of kids will be very、um, openly resisting something that you want.、Um, they're boldly disobeying you. So this is the noun form, defiant. So she. You know, she was ready to pay the fine, but the、uh, French Tennis Federation or organization said, "We're going to kick you out if you expel someone from something." Usually, we use this for school. Oh, that student was really bad in class and and hit the teacher. He was expelled or kicked out of school. So you don't want. Want to get expelled from anything? Really, it usually means you've done something really bad. Yeah, that happened to my nephew. He had、uh, some issues, and、uh, he got expelled from school for hitting the teacher one time. Oh, he so, did. Oh、uh, my he goodness. He did. Yeah, he had some uh, uh, issues there. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that did happen. But in any case, here the French Tennis Federation were not happy about her defiance against her press conference duties, so they threatened to expel her. From the French Open, hey! If you don't go to those press conferences, we're going to kick you out of the tournament. And some think they feared other famous players following her lead in refusing to participate in press conferences. So some people thought, hey, if she is going to do it, maybe some of these other players will do it too. They will refuse to go to press conferences, and we might have to kick them all off the tournament. I wanted to mention quickly, guys. We often use defiance with in. Uh, you could do something in defiance of something else. So,、uh, Tom's nephew hit his teacher in defiance of the teacher's request for him to sit down and be quiet. So, moving on, a few professional players、um, have also cast doubt. On Osaka's ability to maintain her high-level position, they say, "Hey, if you're a really elite athlete, this is part of the package. You need to do it. Maybe you're not strong enough to play in the big boys' league or the big girls' league." So, indeed, it says post-match interviews. Uh, can provide fans with insights into their favorite star strategies and thoughts about their performance. That's if the journalists ask good questions. Sometimes their questions are just dumb. So if you have insight or insights into something, you have a special understanding about something. Maybe you have、um, a view that other people don't really see. Maybe you have a really nice, deep understanding of something. That's an insight. So a lot of people look forward to those press conferences. After the match, to learn what the player was thinking, why they did that, why did they make that shot, those sorts of issues. Mm-hmm. And they also give the athletes a chance to express themselves, to let other people know how they're feeling. So I guess it could be understood that those press conferences are necessary and they are part of the game. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 
。请同学接着看到第四句 ，However the media buzz， 这里指的是媒体热议。好，那接着呢，我们请看一下这个句子里面的 Let Osaka to announce， 请同学画起来，这就是导致大阪宣布怎么样。好 ，lead to 是导致什么人做什么事。老师再给大家一个例句 ：My poor grades led me to take a good and hard look at my study habits. My poor grades led me to take a good and hard look at my study habits. 我成绩不理想，所以呢，我就好好的检讨了自己的读书习惯。接着，请同学把 her withdraw 画起来。withdraw。Withdraw 后面有一个 a l 啊，名词呢是有 l 的，有 a l 的，那就是退赛的意思。这里就是退赛，他宣布退赛，好让其他参赛的球员可以重回媒体关注的焦点。好，第二段，请同学看。At the heart of Osaka's announcement were two key concerns. 请同学注意，这里其实是倒装句。原本的句子是 There were two key concerns at the heart of Osaka's announcement. 接下来，请看第二句。She wrote that 这个句子，请同学特别注意后面所说到的 rules about press conferences are outdated. 所以记者会的相关规定过时了 ，outdated 过时了。这个动形容词，抱歉，这个形容词非常重要。再来，请看。第三个句子 ，OK， 到底为什么大阪直美不想参加记者会呢 ？Protecting her own mental health was her goal in initially refusing her media obligations. 原来是因为她想要关注自己的心理健康。好，接下来我们看到第三段哦，同学可以注意一下。这边这整段呢，都在表示不是所有人都认同 Osaka 的做法。这一段的写作方式呢，是采取主题句的写法。那主题句就在 Tennis officials and some players didn't see it the same way。所以后面呢，就分别说其他人怎么样表示不认同。那在文法重点方面，请同学看到 In addition to 这个句子，这个 defiance 很重要。它的动词是 defy, d e f y. 比方说，违抗警告叫 defy warnings. 那违背父母亲的安排 defied parents' arrangement. 好，那再接下来 ，some think they fear other famous players following her lead. 请同学特别注意 ，follow one's lead 其实就是跟着别人后面做一样的事，有样学样。那同学也可以补充上。效法什么人？哦，效法别人的做法，我们也可以说 follow suit. Follow suit. S U I T. 以上就是我们针对第一天课程内容所做的中文讲解。谢谢大家。That is it for today's program. But please join us again next time when we continue to talk about Naomi Osaka. So we look forward to seeing you then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.